All right, folks, welcome back to Let's Play Neo 2 on the Mysterious JG. Uh, I just ordered food for delivery. Uh, I'm telling you because it's unlikely to arrive during the video, but if it does, there's a small chance it'll arrive during the video, and if it does, there's a small chance I'll forget that uh, I'm in, uh, in the middle of a video and I'll just go get my food and not edit this out. That is possible. I probably won't be that silly, but it is possible. What have I got attuned right now? So I got the... Uh... Okay, so this one just costs a whole bunch of uh, attunement points. But it is pretty damn good. So I will remember that that is in place. You want to come with and help out a little bit, buddy? No? Okay. I don't think you're, like, in the way of anything I need to get to, if I re remember, but... Since I lost over 100,000 uh, Amrita, I guess I better be working on getting some of it back, huh? How could you not hear that? You are so focused on eating that corpse. Good for you. I'm glad that you're enjoying the last moments of your, you know... Unlife? Your demonic life. I mean, these demons are all supposed to be, or the yokai, rather, are all supposed to be people who uh, died and became yokai, I believe. Almost all the yokai we've encountered were supposedly people who died in some horrible way and are now bound to angry spirits, but um, in the case of that guy in particular, um, that, that well, in the case of that guy in particular, nothing. That, that means I have a hard time knowing how I'm supposed to think of them as, like, uh, Am I killing them, or am I uh, releasing spirits that are already dead? I'm not really 100% sure. However, I believe I can sneak past this guy without killing him, and I see no reason not to do that. Matter of fact, if I did want to kill him, it seems like the way to do that would be what I did before. dropping down from above. Now that I think about it, as far as switching to my on-screening, uh, which is why I lost all that freaking Amrita, because I'm not using the gear that... When I'm on-screening, I'm always using gear where I've loaded up every single thing that I can to increase my chance of uh, auto-grave recovery, right? Because you don't want to be off-screening and screw up and, and lose, you know, progress. The whole point of off-screening was to get. I was about to say make sure I'm using my best equipment, but I guess I am, because... Uh, my on-screen gear is all stuff that needs to needs more leveling up done on it. Oh, I forgot all about you guys. Oh. That's good. Why are you so far away? Get over here where I can actually hit you. Okay, well, that guy will probably be back and be a pain in my butt, but maybe I better land a hit on you while I still can. So if you dropped an elixir, I'll use an elixir. Otherwise, I didn't really lose that much health there. But yeah, that... Omi, Bomi, whatever the heck, uh, Fire Spirit guy just kind of floated off, so... Okay. We'll leave him to his own devices over there. Now I'm back in the room of the Snake Ladies. So I haven't explored in this direction. It looks like there's something fun waiting for me ahead. You know, this is not how Kotaro Fuma dresses. He has, you know, both arms cut... Well... Okay, you might not even have been worth the effort of... Screwed that up. I was about to say... Courtier's Waster. I was kind of hoping you guys would start dropping some new equipment sets I haven't seen before. That would really, really improve the chances that I would take some time to off-screen in the middle of this, uh, clearing this mission for the first time, but, um, that does not seem to be what's happening. So there's a... 
dark realm over here. We've had chances to sneak into this before and didn't. I don't fully understand the layout of this map yet. Go! Thanks, game. Thanks. That seems really fair. That's legit. I mean, I should have known that that was going to happen and prepared for it. You punished me for, for being foolish in not expecting an enemy to disappear. Uh, there's no indication whatsoever there was any place for them to be hiding out. And uh, nothing's dropping um, elixirs. Like, again, I don't have a high level of Kadama Blessing because I haven't killed a lot of enemies in this zone. We're in uh, the Act 2, so none of the Kadamas that we caught before really count um, the Act 2. This is your uh, Let's Play friend, Starfire. Anyway, hopefully I will remember where that enemy was for future. Oh, what are you fellers? Oh, and apparently I was short one kappa. There must have been one of the one of the one of the ones I was doing off screen that must have been popping up occasionally because I don't I never made it a point to hunt down lots of kappas. They drop a lot of gear though. They're they're good enemy to fight. Well, hello, friend. You're not the guy from before. You're blue, but a very discerning eye like that. I can s tell the difference between blue and red. I'm not sure why I'm not able to hit this guy. Well, maybe now that he's actually coming after me, I'll be able to hit him. Yeah, apparently that's what it was. Uh, it's possible that you are the reason this place is a demon zone. I'll poison you. It's a good, good thing to use against these guys. You can kind of avoid them and let the poison kill them. Pretty much how I always dealt with them in Neo 1. I don't know that poison is... I think poison seems to be generally a little more effective in Neo 2. Certainly it's easier to keep guys poisoned than it was. Although part of this is just the fact that I am using poison shuriken. Get away from me, this is where I... I never, never really uh, spent a lot of time trying to kill stuff with the blister powder or whatever. I did not notice you there on the map, friend, but I'm glad I found you anyway. Me old son. Now, I need to bear in mind that uh, the losing Amrita is a big pain in the ass. Losing soul cores that you captured also kind of sucks. And now I'm carrying two of those around, so I'll try to catch those in before I uh, don't want to die twice in a row now and lose my soul cores. Whetstone, that's that's a real difference maker. Well, somewhere around here it appears there's a Kadama Shrine. Although, again, that might be like... Oh, no, it's right there. Well, wasn't I just after saying I need to make sure I don't lose these... Uh... Oh. You know what? I actually really need to kill some more of these guys. because you don't get anything for... I mean, you get items and stuff for beating them in non-combat ways, but you don't actually earn the prestige points. So I'm just going to murder this one. I want to got Amio Mage's locks. Not going to not gonna say no to those. All right. This is, you know... <laughs> I don't know why I'm going here. I'm like... This is putting me in a good mood. Now, I could have uh, not died, lost 100,000 Amrita, and I still would have gotten those Amio locks for clearing that treasure chest. But still, I'm, I'm trying to... I'm trying to let myself be in a good mood. 
Got delicious food on the way. I'm already planning, like I've I've said, like this is this is the Friday of a non chemo weekend, so I'm gonna I'm gonna let myself have a couple of the old bourbon and cokes. That one little uh, gacky guy should be back. Oh, actually, you know what? They're not. It's it. I'm not 100 percent clear on how this works. Uh, which enemies in the dark realm come back, and which ones don't? I think if you clear the dark realm, any enemies that you didn't that you didn't clear on your way towards fighting the main guy will be there with zero uh, key. Which no, I can't even call the gods for help. What the fuck, man? Even I mean, even that's not that big a deal because unless you kill them before they have a chance to do their like I will get key now move, they always just do their I will get key now move. So it's not that big of a thing. But uh, yeah, I, I think when you clear the dark realm. Uh, any enemies you kill there are treated like the uh, spooky spectral pattern enemies where they're just like a one-time thing you clear and they don't respawn. I don't know why, but I'm convinced there's going to be bats around here. Ah, this is starting to look like, yeah, this is starting to look like the uh, actual end of the level. Is there an elephant there? Okay, what was that? There's apparently an Omnio mage who is electrocuting me. And I don't see where they are. Or is that just supposed to be lightning striking naturally over and over again? No, that's got to be some kind of evil mage, right? Well, anyway, there's a Kadama up there. It seems like as long as I keep moving, I'm fine, but... That's not great when you're going for a stealth approach. Okay, well, I mean, what the hell? Maybe I'll get this Kadama. And it'll turn out that there's not that many Kadama in this level, and I've got them all. But I sure don't feel like I've got everything already. Oh, sorry. You got electrocuted. That's not really fair on you, but... Ah, damn it. Game. Oh, those are not the ones that you're allowed to uh, break by rolling through. By the way, video just processed if you didn't hear the loud noise. So, you know, Final Fantasy VIII fans who are watching this uh, rejoice. A video that most likely will post uh, weeks before this one uh, is ready to post. Damn it, JJ. I... And I wasn't paying attention when they did the little Kadama thing. I don't think we got... Oh, fuck. I hope I did... I'm not ready to complete the level yet, guys. We don't. I don't think we found all the Kadama. Suppose I could go... I could play this over off screen. I don't think that would be... Huge. Oh, well, I know who this is. I'm going to play Kamari now. Kamari. Not want to be played by you. Are we supposed to take it you've been murdering lots of Oda soldiers because you're a badass? This could be an interesting fight. Oh, that would be why Dalsim's uh, background theme has been playing. Ooh. Blanking on his uh, first name, Imagawa. He's in the Samurai Warriors games. He's depicted as this joke because he's. Because of the way he got crushed by um, crushed by uh, Nobunaga, but it's 
hoping I could set him on fire. Doesn't look like it's going to work out that well. Okay, so that actually went fairly well. Okay, probably shouldn't get hit with that anymore. And I'm not sure lightning, which is my main element that I work with uh, in this build, other than poison, is really the way to go. Because uh, he's using it himself. Yeah, he's... If he's not completely immune to it, he's certainly resistant. Ow. I would dearly love to beat this guy in the first try. I don't get to do that too often. I thought I was going to take him down right there. Oh, I poisoned him. Excellent. I got it now. He is, he is fucked. The poison should be enough to kill him. And if not, that will. So did I just win the level or was he a mid-boss, I wonder? No, that's it. That's the mission. So, I mean, we'll check. If I got all the Kadama, great. Basically, this is a level I can now putz around with off-screen. Um, I gained less An uh, Amrita in the level overall than I lost with that one uh, running off a cliff because of the camera placement death. But as far as I wanted to get some progress done and be able to then switch to a little off-screening with the B and C in my hand, uh, this is just about perfect. And that might be my food. Hello? Yeah. Okay, be right down.
so yeah, that actually was my food. Um, you never know with these guys. This pizza place I, I uh, get most of the time. Um, man, it took them it took them almost an hour, a little over an hour one time, um, and then this time it's like less than twenty minutes. So that was pretty great. Um, so I think I'm gonna have to end the session just so that I can make sure to freaking process this video before I process the two earlier videos from the same session and make sure I actually edit this out. Anyway, um, yeah, so here's uh, Yosha. He's the leader of the Imagawa, anyway. I don't get to just chat with him first? Okay. I guess I'm going to get possessed by his elephant spirit here. What up, gangster? He's just gonna stroll on up here and possess me. Oh god, the Pele. Mosey on up. Well, that's generally not a good thing. I mean, I don't know your brother. They do have a pretty good starting position. Yeah, uh, it's actually going to be Tokugawa. I think it's Yoshimoto Imagawa. Anyway, I'll switch sides. I'm working with this guy now. What do you mean? Well, I mean, I'll kill you, but are you out of your senses at the moment? I come to my senses every time you come around. I have no defenses. When you stab me in the throat. Well, I would say that we're probably on uh, Nobunaga's good side now. I mean, if he knows that we did that. Oh, I was following at a safe distance. So. Uh -huh. These are, we're like the, yeah, we're the heroes of the Oda at this point, right? <laughs> So we're to take it that in this version of history, Nobunaga's army didn't deploy a brilliant strategy of of uh, assaulting, like launching a surprise attack on the main camp from a direction that they didn't think anyone could traverse. And this time, Nobunaga just marched up regular-wise, but some rando uh, half-yokai, half-human dude took care of business. Either way, we got uh, Rukugezo, so that's a thing. Maybe we're going to develop a, a, a friendship with Nohime. Well, no, never mind. This isn't Nohime. This is probably supposed to be... Uh, what's her name? Uh, Oichi. Ooh, knock it off. They really are going with the traditional comic relief perv with him. Mm. Yeah, that's how I like my girls. I mean... I need you to answer my question about what happened to my dad. I asked it and the scene faded out. She's willing to sacrifice our love. Stop. Yeah, that's what you, you probably want to stop perving on her. I love it when guys are horn dogs. Oh, she's a nine-tailed fox. That's not necessarily a good sign that she's a... Well, she she could be a lovable trickster. Nine-tailed fox, 
kind of not a good thing in the original Neo. Kind of kicks your ass if it's paired up with, uh, what's his name, the, the Amrita Golem guy. <laughs> It seems like Lord Nobunaga might even make a samurai for the feat of slaying Yoshimoto. Even though, you know, you did that and me not so much. It just goes to show, even without the right social standing or lineage, if you're bold enough to get out there and prove yourself, prove yourself, you can really go places. I'm warning... I warm into this Nobunaga guy more and more. And that gorgeous younger sister of his, Lady Oichi, I could have sworn she made my heart skip a beat or two. I think that's probably why I just died. We'd better do what we can to keep them both impressed. Well, this archer uh, gear, master archer gear, might be new, actually. Um, yeah, golden boy. But it looks like there's 800 pieces that make up the golden boy set, so that's nice. Um, it gives you life bonuses and damage reduction, lightning damage. No, oh, I see, you're, you're cosplaying as uh, Yoshimoto. Well, I mean, you know, if not, I certainly need to, like, um, grab the pieces I already have, or lock down the pieces I already have so I don't accidentally uh, give them away. Give them away, give them away now. That one is already locked. Let's see. Well, maybe that's what my off-screening is going to consist of now, is just going back um, and killing that guy over and over until I have a complete Master Archer set. And actually, it might be better than this, like, because this Fuma Ninja set is not really a set with set bonuses. I'm just using it, because I like the idea of using a consistent equipment set, and it, it boosts my shuriken and kunai damage. And, you know, even though I said I'd never do it, and I certainly had more trouble than I should have, considering how over-leveled I was dealing with that level, I did at least beat the boss in the first try, which I should have been able to do. And some of that is the fact that I like shuriken in this game, and I actually was using... Um, it looks like this is better than this in pretty much every way. Yeah, actually, literally every way. Because it has the same two things that... The same two bonuses this has are slightly better, plus an additional bo bonus. So, lock that one down. We don't have Master Archer Arm Guards. No, oh, oops, wrong. Uh... So, there is uh, Master Archer's Gauntlets, and we do not have those. So, maybe that's what I'll be... Maybe that's part of my off-screening. We'll be trying to get the Master Archer set. The only way to do that... Yeah, I I'm thinking all that stuff dropped against that guy. So I probably just need to keep fighting him. And I didn't get Master Archer boots either. Oh no, I keep... Yeah. Mounted Archer, not Master Archer. Master Archer theme song. Do, 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 do. Nothing hugely impressive about any of these. Lightning resistance would be good if I'm going to go back and fight that guy again. Whatever. It's all, it's all good. Uh, probably won't hit the 30-minute mark exactly. Not that I ever do. But now I'm, I'm guessing at how long it took me to go pick up my food because my timer will be off. Because um, I did not stop the timer or the recording. I edited out of the recording and got my freaking... Yeah, for the fact. And got my food. New titles must have been gained at some point. I thought it had a little exclamation mark here. It did. It did. So. Oh, because I, I did get. I, I killed a, a Kappa and got Kappa Cutter. Kappa Cutter can be hit out of any position, folks. Alright, um. So now we have submission and air. Well, first of all, let's see. Did I get all the Kadama? No, I barely got half. I hope you guys will forgive me. I may replay this mission off screen and get the rest of the Kadama. Normally, I would like to do that on screen. I might end up... Uh, or what I can do is just try to make a conscious effort to not get any Kadama, I find. But uh, just replay the mission and go back on screen at some point and get it. But uh, we have uh, an error in calculation. Uh, this, okay, it is Toshiye. Um, can I ask you to do something for me and keep it a secret from to Tokichiro, who for some reason I already have a personal relationship with? You see, I dropped something very important in Okahasama. I wanted to go back and get it, but the place is teeming with yokai and painful, though it is to admit I wouldn't last long out there. I'm sorry to have to ask, but could you go and retrieve the item for me? It really is irreplaceable. Please do this for me. 
There is a thing uh, where... This is in Neo too, where William was supposed to have this special ability to fight yokai, and these other heroic fighters who were all real badass and could fight William would claim that they were powerless against yokai. I didn't really understand that, but the mysterious one night castle. I think this is kind of a big deal. I think this might unlock some shit. Um, so ugh, I'm gonna need to get on playing through this one eventually. Oh, you're all dressed up samurai styles. Lord Nobunaga is eager to expand his influence in the northern reaches of Mino, a key strategic location where Dosan has a stronghold. Without a castle to give us a foothold, it would be extremely difficult to launch any kind of meaningful attack. But Saito is not just going to sit and watch a castle being built near his turf without taking action. Don't worry, though. I may just have an idea. Leave it to me, Hitty. This is kind of the famous, almost certainly exaggerated, but uh, legend claims that... Uh, Uh, the guy who would eventually become uh, Hideyoshi Toyotomi uh, built a castle overnight uh, to threaten. Um... Well, it's not Dosan Saito. Dosan, Dosan Saito, I think, isn't he supposed to be dead? I think this is his son who murdered him. Hidetatsu's dying wish. Could I ask you to retrieve the spear belonging to Master Dosan, my departed father in law? Yoshitatsu's soldiers are currently occupying the estate, but I refuse to just sit by and let them defile such a meaningful keepsake. So, that is a side pit viper's robes, eh? I wonder if those are actually uh, unique. Or a set. Anyway, that's something I could play around with uh, off screen. Imagawa Die Hard. It seems there are still some Imagawa clan loyalists at large within the Oda's domain. They may be plotting to kill Lord Nobunaga to avenge their fallen master. And of course, we can't let that happen. Let's stop them before they cause any real trouble. Oh, we can get a Master Archer's hat, which unfortunately is one of these set pieces that I already have. Sesai Switchglaive. That might be the uh, melee weapon. This, this set had more requirements than some of the previous ones. It actually had a weapon you needed to collect, which was normal in Neo, but in Neo 2 hadn't been the way it had been working up to this point. But no, that is not... We need to get a Master Archer's hat and a mas and a Soza Somanji Matsu Kurago, but not uh, not uh, Sesai Switchglaive. The Hidden Monsters of Okahazama. Okay. So there you go. We've opened up a few new things we could do. Go to the blacksmith. Irashai. So she's following us around the country, apparently. Um, oh, unlock the following hut features. Move to another hut. Remodel hut. Samurai's hut. Samurai Hut! <laughs> it's like Java, but different. We can now have an elephant. I'm assuming this means we can have an elephant hanging around. In, oh, but it's a tiny elephant now. Whatever, we'll have a tiny elephant hanging around in our... Uh, in our new Autobot jungle dungeon. <laughs> Bobo doesn't watch. That's that's like a reference to one of the 8 billion bizarre in-jokes Bobo and I have. It will mean nothing to anyone. And of course, he's not watching the series, so... Um, character directory protagonist Senji Toyo Toshiye. I'm surprised that we've got two of the three data points on him already. Princess No. Princess No is the wife of Oda Nobunaga. While her birth name is Kicho, she has long been called Princess No, even before she was married into the Oda family from the Saito clan of Mino Province, modern day Gifu Prefecture. Merge Nobunaga may have been a political one, but Nobunaga is said to have loved her for her dignified, courageous nature. The couple was happily married until the day they died. Um, I guess there's conflict. I mean, you wouldn't really know, I suppose, but there's conflicting reports on that. There's also there's folk folk rumors that she was an assassin sent to kill Nobunaga. The most plausible variation on this is I've read because they did not have any children. Nobunaga had children, but none by no. So one of the more plausible things I've read was that you know if for whatever reason they couldn't have children that, you know, she kind of grew out of favor, but she was his first wife, like, you know, whatever. It's like regal politics and crap. And that they didn't 
get on particularly well, but she wasn't a problem either because she just kind of took on the duties of a lady who was the head of a noble household, so whatever. And we got Nobunogunumrumbagabaga with his powerful Pokemon. Imagawa Yoshimoto. Imagawa Yoshimoto is daimyo of the Suruga Prefect province, modern-day eastern Shizuoka Prefecture. He hails from a great family that claims descent from Ashikaga, the clan of the Shogun, a celebrated general who was dubbed the greatest archer in Tokaido. He successfully extended his clan's power all the way to Totomi and Mikawa. When he launched an assault on Awari, hoping to expand his clan's power westward, he was met with a surprise attack by Oda Nobunaga in Okehazama. In spite of their overwhelming military might, the Imagawa forces were thrown into disarray by the surprise attack, and Yoshimoto was ultimately defeated by the protagonist. Yoshitatsu Saito? I don't remember having come across him. Oh, he's... Um well, I presume he's going to be a villain. He's the guy, I believe, who... Uh, he instigated rebellion against Dosan. Because in this game, Dosan's killed by um, Yokai, but it's it's this guy who led the attack that caused all the chaos. In history, he just basically flat-out murders his dad. And Saito Dosan, who... They built him up as an important enough character that part of me thinks he's coming back, but uh, he shouldn't because he should be dead. Mumio, Tokichiro, and the protagonist. I think we are now far enough along that I can call it a video and uh, get back to uh, off-screening um, like a silly, silly, silly monkey. And um, still I still haven't decided. I, I, I guess I need to off-screen stuff other than that level and let you guys see me getting the Kadama. But I don't think any of you will like lose your shit if I get the Kadama screen, will you? I suppose we'll find out. Anyway, when we come back next time, we'll be doing other stuff. See you then.